Hey, so one big theory I forgot to mention in the first two videos that I made is the rate of living um, theory. Okay, rates of living theory of aging. So essentially it means that whoever spends more energy uh, will live shorter lives than than um, animals will spend less energy. And also that makes that makes sense using uh, with experiments using caloric restriction or dietary restriction. Dietary restriction. And so essentially what dietary restriction does, it's called it forces the body to slow down its metabolism because the body recognizes that it does not have enough nutrients to continue pumping itself up. And another example of a uh, of the rate of living theory would be progeria. It's a disease in about one in every few million. There is, uh, I'll show you actually right here. There, are, it's, these are the characteristics of progeria. See, the children are born normal looking, and they're born healthy, but then they have symptoms like growth failure, loss of body fat, loss of hair, and skin looks aged. Uh, you can read the rest of it. But essentially, that is the, that shows that the body is inability to repair its damage. So the rate of it is like the the rate of aging is increased. And I said in the previous video, as with my definition of aging, is that aging is the inability of the body to repair um, repair damage that's caused by the environment. Such as um, if we if uh, Aubrey de Grey uses the example of a car. He okay. There are 1950 cars still on the road, and what causes these cars to be so well maintained is that they are the body is continuously repairing them. You know, if the car is broken in this one part, then it could fix it. And if it's broken in another part, then it could fix that too. So that's what he calls the regenerative method. There's the other method of trying to slow down damage. And that is the gerontology method. And in the geriatric method, geriatrics approach is after all this damage is already there, it's like you're trying to fix the last stage of it to keep it before it becomes fatal. Uh, both of them, I think if we combine all three of these approaches uh, to, to, to aging, it would have a significant increase in lifespan. But right now, we don't really know that much about the body. So Aubrey de Grey's method, which is just regener regenerative medicine, I think would work best. Because you don't need to know a lot to, to have some regenerative medicine, such as the telomerase we have. Well, the telomerase by itself doesn't really, uh, won't expend, extend the lifespan much. But if we figure out more of these things that repairs the body, then as a total effect, it would pre be pretty significant.